viewers and welcome to another edition of our women's program Karim Pay. Well, every year on 21st of June, many people take out their yoga mats to practice yoga because the 21st of June every year has been dedicated and set aside to celebrate and to commemorate World Yoga Day. Yes, yoga is an ancient Indian science which dates back roughly over 5,000 years and today it is a worldwide phenomena. It was in the year 2014 when the Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi, went up to the UN General Assembly and spoke about this great blessing, the great science, the great medicinal effect that yoga has. And ever since, 21st of June has been set aside to observe and to celebrate World or International Yoga Day. Now, yoga, as we know by today, has several benefits. It has an overall benefit over our mind, body, and even our soul. And today, it is a, being practiced as a yoga day, that is International Yoga Day, is being practiced in at least 177 countries across the world. And that goes to show the immense benefit that yoga has on our complete being. So today, we will be talking about the benefits, the health benefits, especially the benefits that women can have by practicing some asanas and practicing yoga. And so to talk about yoga, the essential benefits of it, etc., we are being joined here in the studios of Doordarshan Shalong by a panelist, and she's an expert, she's a yoga coach. She is, of course, Jaya Datta. Hi there, Jaya. Namaste. And we will be talking to her and understanding more about yoga, the different practices of yoga and what all benefits it has on our being and who all can practice it. You have to wait a little while because uh, we are just going in to watch a short video clip. And when we come back on the other side of this uh, video clip, of course, we will be talking with our guest today, that is Jaya Datta. The 21st of June, every year since 2015, is celebrated as the International Day of Yoga. When proposing this date, Sri Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister of India in 2015, said that the date was the longest day of the year in the Northern Hemisphere, having special significance in many parts of the world. It also signifies the transition from the summer solstice to Dakshinayana or the winter solstice. practice of yoga has been there in our country since ancient times. This year, the theme is humanity. people to incorporate it into their lives for their overall well-being. Women play a pivotal role in the family. It is therefore necessary for them to be in good health. By incorporating simple asanas, we will try to help the ever busy women to look after their health, thereby promoting well-being of the entire family.
welcome back viewers and uh, well now that you've already watched that uh, short clip you may have got a little bit more awareness about this day the significance of this day and about yoga per se so jaya a very very warm welcome to you to the studios of doordarshan My and pleasure. and thank you so much for your time and uh, the fact that you're a yoga coach you know at what point of time did you yourself take up yoga and why did you take up yoga well it was in the year 2013 and uh, i was undergoing a lot of upheavals in my life medicines were failing i didn't know if you know there could be some natural resort to that and at that point of time i met one of my yoga teachers she was a healer she was a teacher and she recommended me that definitely you know there is a way out and that's absolutely an inner way out mm -hmm. so when we basically talk about yoga yoga basically it says that it's a union mm -hmm. so when we say about the union it's actually the union of our true self with the cosmic self okay so people you know normally what happens uh, they mistake yoga as only twisting and turning and bending your body mm -hmm. but basically it's not only that mm -hmm. yoga can be your very you know the total lifestyle of a person can be based on yoga okay now when you say a total lifestyle we most of us you know in the modern times lead a very erratic lifestyle So what would be an ideal lifestyle based on this concept that you have just spoken that is yoga the yoga Correct. lifestyle So uh, as you can see me sitting and chatting with you mm -hmm. at the same time how aware I am Okay what is the awareness that I am maintaining Am I in touch with my true self Do I know who am I The basic questioning the basic knocking of who am I is the door step to yoga okay so basically it's not a very hard and fast rule that you know you have to follow very strict measure as it's being carried out in ashrams or gurukul mm -hmm. but yoga can be the basic texture of your life mm -hmm. a very organic lifestyle of course a bit of self discipline is required mm -hmm. because when we talk about yoga it's a science and it's very subtle mm -hmm. so if you actually integrate yoga in your life a little bit of discipline on your part is mandatory okay yeah however when you have yoga in your life definitely life becomes simpler mm -hmm. easier you can count uh, you know you can count down on the cost of the medicines mm -hmm. you know and life becomes very simple because as you wake up in the morning you rinse your mouth you brush your teeth you eat your breakfast so why not dedicate at least half an hour even if not half an hour 15 minutes of time every okay. morning okay to do a few asanas right but then a person who is a lay person you know who has not much knowledge of yoga would be a little bit intimidated to going into yoga thinking that you know i have never done my body must be all hard and i'm not as flexible So how can that person take up yoga who has who has never done say say for instance any kind of exercise so can any such person take up yes. yoga Yes today uh, you know my subject of study uh, as my few students will also demonstrate you at mm -hmm. the end of the program Right right We have introduced a package which is called as upa yoga mm -hmm. and uh, it's called pre yoga Okay There is no side effect to it. Mm -hmm. You did not be very nervous about the fact that how do we practice it? It's very simple. Even a child of 4 years can do it. Mm -hmm. There is no imperfections into it. There's no way that you can say oh I have done it in a wrong way. Okay. It's very simple. Mm. So I have selectively chosen few of those asanas and few of the upa yoga steps mm -hmm. which every household individual can can incorporate into mm. their day to day mm. practices mm. so you don't need to be a hatha yogi you don't need to do a very hard fast training for that mm. any person can go for that yeah. however jaya i think uh, that uh, 
is a must that we start from a uh, you know, recognized coach like you who will guide us initially and thereafter we can do those steps or those asanas or those you know, the different exercises at home, isn't it? But the beginning should be from a, you know, from a teacher like you. Definitely. Mm. I would recommend, in fact, I would request all of my viewers mm -hmm. that never go for book yoga. Okay. Never go for, you know, a kind of YouTube yoga okay. without a coach. Mm -hmm. Because there could be some detrimental, f you know, results of doing some asana incorrectly. Mm -hmm. And instead of benefiting you, it can go against you. Mm -hmm. So definitely you should do a bit of hand holding of the coaches. They'll guide you through and then you are on your own. Mm. It's as simple as that. Yeah, but then you know nowadays, as we said a little while back, there are a lot of lifestyle diseases that people have. Say a high BP patient or a diabetes patient, or any such people. You know, uh, can they also do yoga? Suddenly take it up, really, without uh, consulting their doctor, etc. So basically, uh, they need not go for the very intense asanas mm. or intense workouts. Mm. So as I have always mentioned, that we are talking about upa yoga. Okay. As a resort. Mm -hmm. So anybody can take up Upa Yoga. Mm -hmm. So definitely you don't need any recommendations from your doctors. You can do it as a part of your natural lifestyle. And yes, however, certain asanas are there which needs to be prescribed because suppose ladies who have menstrual problems or a woman who is pregnant. Mm -hmm. So we recommend those people not to do those asanas. Mm -hmm. So ideally, we stop them from doing those asanas. However, there are very simple asanas also that can be taken. Can up, be done, right? Yes. And talking about you know asanas meant specially for uh, ladies, you know, for uh, girls. Uh, can you tell us, you know, because uh, these days even young girls, teenage girls, have a certain you know uh, their when they when they get their monthlies and all because you know I deal with such girls all the time who sends a leave application that she cannot come and attend classes because of her monthlies or uh, even for ladies also which are some of the you know easy uh, you, uh, asanas that can be done that can relieve them of, of those situations uh, well there are many asanas mm. which are you know ideally for the woman mm. for the lower back regions mm. Uh, you know to actually relax your uterus walls mm. so there are a couple of asanas which we will showcase Show today mm. uh, one of them is called the butterfly asana okay one is a shishupal asana mm. so when you actually see them and you practice them it really relieves a lot of menstrual pain mm. and some uterus related problems also, as well yeah, yes. yeah. but then you know um, a child, how early should uh, yoga be started? I mean, is there a, an age when one can begin with yoga or the earlier the better? I would say, um, you know, in my journey mm -hmm. as a yoga coach and being under the guidance of many masters, mm -hmm. I have seen children as young as three years old starting yoga. Okay. And they do it flawlessly. Mm -hmm. And they don't even say that we are doing yoga mm -hmm. for them. Sitting is yoga, talking is yoga, meditation is yoga, everything is like mm -hmm. you know a part of yoga. Mm -hmm. So basically when we are aware, when we are aware as to what we are doing, that itself is yoga. Mm -hmm. So this is a very big misconception among people you know, we have to really go for workouts, we have to twist and turn our body, no. Ideally when we are sitting here, you know, if you just become conscious about your breath, mm -hmm. just for even few seconds, okay. you would see that your awareness has shifted mm -hmm. to a much subtler level. Mm -hmm. This is also a, a kind part of yoga. yoga. And that is why they say that you meditate and when you meditate also you just sit calmly in a, in a place, you just focus, right? That focus itself means you are being aware of yourself and every noise, every surrounding around you, immediate around you, right? And then, uh, as you said, breathing is also part of yoga because there are a lot of, you know, I have watched certain uh, yoga teachers who recommend a lot of breathing exercises, especially to cure many ailments. You want to talk about this uh, breathing exercise and meditation? Correct. Especially this goes for the students or, you know, uh, people who are working in corporate sectors. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of stress around the environment. Mm. So, ideally, 
that point of time, you know, if you, if you can invest two to three seconds of your time, mm -hmm. sit with yourself and just sit, relax and observe your breath. Okay. So once we try doing this, we would see that automatically the breath is settling down. Mm. So we are far more relaxed. Okay. And you know, the brains also they start releasing very good hormones, mm. the happy hormones as mm. we say. So ideally it's just a play of breath. Mm. I don't want to go much deeper into it, but you know, if you start intervening or delving depth, you know, very deep into who am I factor, then we are nothing more than consciousness. Mm -hmm. It's a play of the breath alone. Okay. Breath can do all the magic, mm -hmm. only if you know how to control it. Okay. And what about meditation? Meditation... Because you know sometimes they say that you have to sit in a certain posture at a certain time of the day and be alone in a quiet room, which may not be possible, you know, sit and staying in city place, cities and etc., which is very noisy these days. Where do we find a quiet, calm place? So again, uh, you know, uh, there could be a lot of contradictions to what I'm saying, but from my personal experience, you can be meditative throughout your life. Okay. Now that you know, we are chit chatting. So in my awareness, I'm still meditative because I am in touch with my real self. Mm -hmm. I am with that particular awareness. Okay. So ideally, yes, a congenial environment is good for everybody to mm. meditate, you mm. know. You can have a very nice fragrant room, mm -hmm. well scented candles, mm. a soft music playing and be with yourself. Mm -hmm. An extraordinary environment for meditation. However, you know the trick is, suppose you are in a very busy marketplace. At that point of time, if you can be meditative, that's the crux of it. And this is what all the yogis have mastered mm. so far. It takes a lot of effort, I think, right? A amidst all the din of the noise, you become calm. Correct. It does take effort, but then it's also just basically a general switch of your consciousness. Okay. You know, when you keep on, you know, digging deeper and deeper into the fact of who am I? Who am I? I am that stillness, I am that peace, I am the part of that universal consciousness. When that particular thing becomes a part of your life, then meditation definitely becomes a part of your life. Mm -hmm. Then you can be in the din of a marketplace, mm -hmm. you can be in a restaurant, mm -hmm. you can be enjoying with your family, but at the same time you would be meditative mm -hmm. because you are with your idle self. Absolutely. I think, you know, the immense, uh, the benefits of yoga are so immense and today, Jaya, uh, countries after countries have taken up, taken to yoga, right? I mean, the West has really taken, it, it has become their lifestyle. I think it has really reached to several countries of the West who are practicing yoga, right? Until and unless there is or there are benefits from yoga, I don't think so they would have taken up. Definitely. And there are so many seekers, n number of seekers from the West mm. who are exploring even, you know, the parts of India which we normal people would not like to venture. Just in the understanding and just to get the cream of yoga. Okay. They are taking it in their basket and they are practicing it. Mm. So ideally, you know, we just need to become conscious. And yoga can become a part of everybody's life. Mm. You did not become an accomplished yogi to always be in yoga. Mm -hmm. If you actually know what is yoga, which is so simple, then it can be a part of your life. Mm. And you know, um, in fact, uh, I had met an enlightened master. His name is Mahashri Patriji. He is the founder of Pyramid Meditation. Okay. So when he met me, he just told me, do you brush your teeth? I said, of course. Then he said, then how can't you meditate? Mm. So definitely it's an integral part of our life which we have forgotten. Okay, and which we have fortunately revived back, you know, uh, with the help of uh, 
uh, you know, this day specially being dedicated on 21st of June. Incidentally, 21st June is the summer solstice, right? And that also has a connect, right? Because Correct. it is the longest uh, day of the year where the sun is uh, for a longer period before it sets. Very true. So, you know, so what I understand is that yoga is a simple way of connecting with ourselves, a simple way of keeping ourselves fit and fine and, and in, in an inexpensive manner. Because if I go to any of these, you know, you know, gyms or any other place, they will charge me a lot of money. Yet, by just going to a yoga coach for a few sessions, I learn and then I can practice it at my home, in my home, yes. in my own room, right? So it saves and me money. from a deeper understanding of what I have achieved so far, mm. we do conduct some free camps as well. Okay. So everybody is invited. Mm. You need not pay anything. Okay. You just come, be in the midst of that environment, soak into it, just mm. bask into it mm. and understand what is yoga all about. Right. Take it away. And I think, you know, yoga does help, Ajaya, would you say some chronic ailments also, you know, where there is no, no cure has been found, people are struggling, but yet there has been cases where yoga has actually turned that person's life. Absolutely. Mm. We have even seen cases of cancer getting healed mm -hmm. by, you know, consistent practice of yoga. Okay. Now, yoga is a total lifestyle change. Mm. You know, some people say, oh, we cannot cut down on our fast foods. We would be on junk. Mm -hmm. So, that may not benefit you much. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, you know, there are four aspects which needs to be straightened up. Okay. So, these are your mind your body, your emotions and energy. Okay. So right now the struggle is, you know, suppose we talk about a vehicle. If the tires are like, you know, thrown apart, you know, the steering is taken out, do you think we can run it on a highway? Never. Mm. So ideally we are trying to run on a highway, but then, you know, everything is haywire. Our mind is somewhere, our body is somewhere, emotion is somewhere and energy definitely. There is so much of our heels, mm. we can see that. Mm -hmm. So if we try to integrate and bring a balance of all these four aspects together, then we can say we are in perfect communion and we are in yoga. Mm. And anybody can do that. Mm. Any do's and don'ts really when you practice yoga? Because is there a time when you should do? Is there uh, certain meals, uh, you know, before meal, after meal? Certain do's and don'ts you can think of that you can just pass it on to our viewers who are watching. Certainly. Uh, ideally, we say we call it as Brahma Muhurtam in Sanskrit. Mm -hmm. So that is where we say that you know the cosmic energy is at its peak. Okay. You can be at your best. And that is at what time? The time is ideally starting from 3:30 a.m. Oh, okay. till 5 a.m. Oh, oh, okay. So yes, you need that to be. That is difficult, Jaya. Yes. I mean, I wouldn't want to wake up at 3:30. No way to practice yoga. Maybe some people can. Yes. But then apart from that Brahma Muhurta that you said, any other, you know, yeah, morning? Whenever you get mm. up, you know, because see, it's very natural. Mm -hmm. You are spending a time with yourself. Okay. So at that point of time, you see, everything is very quiet. Mm -hmm. Most of the people are sleeping. Uh, there is no background noises mm -hmm. to disturb you or distract mm -hmm. you. However, yes, I do strongly agree with you that, you know, uh, it's not a cup of tea for every individual. Yeah, right, right, right. So to make things simpler, mm. as soon as you wake up in the morning, mm. why not dedicate just 15, 20 minutes okay. for some simple yoga? Mm -hmm. So this can be done and mm. the benefits can be seen. Mm -hmm. And see, uh, you know, uh, it takes 21 days to form a particular habit. habit we know right. about that. Mm -hmm. So definitely why not take up yoga as a 21 days challenge mm -hmm. and then see. But we need to do every day those 21 days, both morning, evening or just morning is enough. I am trying to Actually, bargain a little bit from you, you know. <laughs> we understand that. <laughs> um, ideally, yes, but you know, suppose, you know, you uh, have really unavoidable circumstances mm -hmm. and, and that particular point of time you are not able to do the practices, you have to skip it. So, you can again start on, but that point of time, again, the countdown begins from 1. Okay. So, we ideally take it as a 21 days mandala we say. Mm -hmm. So, if you are missing on one day, oh. so you start again. Oh my. Okay. So, mm -hmm. is the training period just for the 21 days? Okay. Those can be Three a little weeks. hectic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
But if you do it, mm. I can bet on it that your life will definitely change mm. for good. And you will never give it up anymore because yes. by then you will already be seeing the you can't difference, help. yeah, difference that it will bring about, right? I mean, I believe it also helps um, your, not only your physical thing, but also helps in an outer form like your skin and all that. You know, we, we go to the uh, parlor and other cosmetics we use, which are so expensive, but yoga exercises are also there, which helps in m maybe you know uh, having a better skin or etc definitely it? it's for your overall well-being mm. so that's a natural makeup that you can do to yourself mm -hmm. absolutely i mean i mean talking to you and understanding that there are so many benefits the immense benefits that yoga provides to our health to our well-being to our betterment why not take it up right definitely. and no day is uh, uh, is is a good day or a bad day to take up yoga right no age is a, a old age or a young age to take up yoga anybody can take up provided at an older age obviously we do take things a little easy at a younger age uh, the body can be molded in a better in a more flexible way as we are almost winding up you know this interaction and before we go ahead and watch some demonstrations that will be given by our children uh, chubby and uh, Arian, I would just uh, request you, what kind of message would you like to pass to all the viewers, to all the ladies, to everybody who's the, the students, etc., who are watching this program today? I would say, you know, like, uh, if you really want to be joyful from within, and you know, you want to cut down on your medicine bills, because this is a big challenge in today's world. So, you know, for a stable, mind and stable body and for a very good lifestyle you can take up yoga so you can become a minimizer mm -hmm. you don't have to spend much <coughs> just get a yoga mat and start doing yoga and see the benefits yourself yes. the benefits will talk about itself okay all right so i think we you were convincing enough today through this program and uh, those of our friends and viewers who are watching this program i'm sure a few of you have got motivated today to take up yoga because as uh, jaya datta has just said that uh, no age you know at there is no ideal age to take up yoga anybody can take up yoga but then the catch is that please go if you're doing it for the first time go firstly for to a yoga coach to a teacher who will guide you and then you can practice it Definitely. at home right thank you so much uh, jaya for coming to the studio and enlightening us so much about this wonderful indian ancient science that we have gifted to the world you know and it is being practiced and the benefits are being reaped by millions of people across and uh, Thanks for all the updates that you have also given us the information and we will be of course still here because we have uh, two uh, beautiful children here, uh, very, very uh, agile with their agile selves, I'm sure they will be demonstrating uh, some asanas for us here so that these are easy asanas that any one of us can actually after watching them learning and then we can take it up at home. We will be shortly be joined by Aryan and Chubby who are just across to me and who are actually excited to come before us and to show us some demonstration. So today we are going to start demonstrating few steps of yoga which is called as Upa Yoga or Pre Yoga and it can be done by anybody at home who wants to know and learn the benefits of yoga. It's very simple, very easy to practice. So step one, hold your hands in front of your chest, relax. Now we will be extending our hands sideways. One, two, three, open up completely. Now inwards, three, two, one. Very nice. This is very good for the shoulders and also your hand muscles. As soon as you wake up in the morning, this can be done because it releases all the tension from your muscles. We are now going to extend our hands upwards. So extend your hands upwards. One, two, three. Extend completely. Now going down. Three, two, one. And relax. 
Now we'll do the same as a downward movement. So let's start. Downwards. One, two, three. Open up your hands completely. Now rolling it up. Three, two, one. And relax. We are going to do the same movement frontwards. Now extending your hands in the front. One, stretch. Two, three, open up completely. Inwards. Three, two, one, and relax. Now we will do some movement of the shoulder. Most of the stress is accumulated in the neck and the shoulders. So we'll do a shoulder movement. So hold your shoulders. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and start rotating it clockwise. One, two, three and hold. Anticlockwise. Three, two, one and hold. Next comes our knees. So bend down and hold your knees. It's very good for people who are suffering from the joints pain. So when they do this knee movement, it really helps them to relieve the pain. So let's start the knee movement. One, two, three, hold. Anticlockwise. Three, two, one, and hold. Come back to the initial position. Hold your waist and then we will relax our abdomen and the waist. So let's start doing clockwise. Start. One, two, three, and hold. Anticlockwise. Three, two, one, and hold. Very nice. Now we will sit down for some asanas. Sitting down in asana, holding dhyan mudra, close your eyes and we will do a chanting which is called as the Aum chanting. So as we do the Aum chanting, we'll make sure that we start chanting from our belly. And the chanting will be done in three stages that is A, O, M. Mm. So as we do A, ah, it's coming from the belly. As we do O, oh, it's coming from the chest. And M mm is your third eye region, that is your forehead. So let's start doing the A, ah, O, oh, O. Oh. Start. A, ah, Two more times. A, ah, one more time. Aum. Very nice. Next, we are going to start with the Kapal Bhati Asan, which is basically to improve the digestion. And the people who are suffering from obesity, they can do it to help them reduce the belly fats. So breathe in and start breathing from the belly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. The next asana is popularly called as Anulom Bilo. It is very good for the nostrils and the thorax region. Keep your left hand on your lap and then taking your right hand block your right nostril breathe in from the left hold your nostrils and then breathe out from the right very nice breathe in from the right hold your nostrils retain your breath and then breathing out from the opposite nostril We'll just do it one more time. Breathe in from the left. Block your nostrils. 
breathe out from the right very good breathe in hold your breath and now breathe out the next asan that we are going to show is called as bhramri that is the humming sound of the bumblebee this is very good for your ears for your throat for your nose and it really helps to supply a lot of oxygen to your brain cells so just close your ears with your thumb put your hands on your eyes and now we'll make the humming sound start hmm let's do it one more time hmm and one more time hmm this particular asan can be practiced in the morning and also 10 minutes before going to sleep next we are going to do a very good asana which will benefit the women in special because it helps them to reduce the menstrual pain and it also relaxes the muscles of the uterus wall so this particular asana is called as butterfly asana so hold your feet together and then we are going to flap it like the wings of a butterfly so let's start 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 wonderful come back to the initial position holding dhyan mudra the next asan that we do is called as shishu palasan or rock your baby it's a very good asan for people who are suffering from osteoporosis or lower back problems it really relaxes the lower back muscles so start with your left leg hold it properly like a baby bring it closer to the chest and then swinging left to right rock your baby 1 2 3 4 5 very nice let's do it with the other leg now hold it like a baby bring it closer to your chest Yes, and let's start swinging. One, two, three, four, and five. Very nice. Coming back. Now we are going to take a lot of vital energy, which is called as prana in yoga. So, for taking in the prana, we are going to just put our head a bit backwards. Tilt your head backward. close your eyes and start making a fluttering of the air so start fluttering in 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 faster 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 it really brings in a lot of oxygen to your system keep your eyes closed and slowly observe your breath you can feel the relaxation in your whole body now slowly opening your eyes come back to the initial position next we are going to do an asan which is called as parvat asan so start making a parvat or a mountain with your hands start breathe in and a mountain stretch up 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 hold the stretch start bringing it down and then come back to the initial position parvatasan is very good for the back and the shoulders now we will hold yoga namaskar which is the basis of yoga yoga means union with everything and it means to be all inclusive so let's hold a namaste closer to our heart close your eyes feel the union with each and everything around you 
and as you do this we will start with the chanting which is also called the shanti chanting or it is the truth that what we are is immortal what we are is untouched what we are is lightness so let's start moving from darkness to ultimate light so let's start doing the chanting and before we chant chanting any mantra really helps to stabilize the right and the left hemisphere of your brain so at least one chanting per day should be practiced by any individual for proper concentration of the mind so let's start the chanting ah 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 asato ma sadgamaya ज्योतिर्गमया मृतम गमया शांति 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 may we all touch the peace love and light what is our true nature namaste all right so viewers uh, that was jaya datta for us uh, telling us about the immense benefits that yoga has uh, in our life and in our overall well being i hope you have enjoyed uh, watching this program today and also the demonstrations that you have seen and you'll take up yoga and uh, do it and make it as part of your lifestyle Until next time from all of us here in the studios it's wishing you once again a very healthy and a happy day ahead take care